Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here! So in today's video, I'm gonna be... Oh. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Hello? Yeah? Oh, great! Oh, thank you so much! Okay, bye. That was my uncle. He works at the Pokemon Company. Turns out, the starters are gonna be... So earlier this week, the April Koro Koro Leaks came out. They gave us nothing. Well, not really nothing. Magiarna was revealed to be steel and fairy type, surprising absolutely no one. Now, while these uneventful links are a bit disappointing, they did tell us that next month will give us a huge scoop on Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's looking like we're going to get the box arts and thus the legendaries, but I also think there's a good chance we're going to get the starters. When X and Y were coming out, the starters and legendaries were the first new Pokemon revealed, and I think there's a good chance of it happening that way again. What will the new starters be like, though? Well, that's what everyone's asking, since the starters tend to be the most prevalent and interesting Pokemon of a new generation. We won't know what they're going to be like for a while, but it's fun to think about what they could be like. So, that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to make some predictions and speculations about what the new starters for Pokemon Sun and Moon could be based on. One of the best ways to get inspiration for thinking about what a new Pokemon could look like or be based on is to search art by artists around the internet. And if you Google image search fake starter Pokemon, mine actually come up first. So obviously that means that they're the best. I'm kidding. Mazong is a Trico clone and Spalsh is a blob of water. I do not see those happening. But moving on! Every starter Pokemon so far has been based off of a real creature, whether living or extinct. Yes, Charizard is kinda based off of a dragon, but Charmander and Charmeleon are totally lizards, so let's focus on them. So because of this, I don't foresee them straying from this trend, meaning that we probably won't get any starters based off of mythological creatures or inanimate objects, at least not in the basic form. So what are some creatures that could end up being starters? Well, let's look at this type by type. First, grass type. Every grass type starter until Gen 6 was either reptilian or amphibian in nature, which is probably why they introduced the mammal chest bin to add in some variety. I don't see them doing another reptile though, in order to keep up this variety, so I think that it's probably going to be either another mammal or a bird, since a grass type starter doesn't really fit with another animal class. An arthropod, invertebrate, or fish just doesn't seem like it makes sense for a grass type starter, at least in my opinion. A bird grass starter seems really likely, since grass is the only starter type that hasn't had a bird yet. I really like these ones by Fake John based off of emus, and they're different enough from Doduo and Dodrio that I could see this happening. I also really like the combination of the long legs and necks with palm trees. These hummingbird ones from Pokemon Sage fit really well too, and these pterodactyl grass starters by Maniacal Mew are freaking epic. And yes, I know that a pterodactyl is technically a prehistoric reptile, but these are just so badass that I had to put them in here. And if it were a mammal? Well, I think there's several animals that could work really well as grass type starters. Grass type elephant starters are really popular right now, but this one is definitely my favorite. I also really like this unicorn zebra combination grass type starter. Now, both of these animals have been done before as Pokemon to a certain extent, but we got the Chimchar line, even though we already had Apom, and then we got more monkeys after that, so as long as their designs are different enough from the others, I think it's possible and could work really well. Another mammal that I think would fit great as a grass type starter that doesn't have any other Pokemon form is a koala. I think a koala would fit great as a grass type starter due to koalas just doing nothing but sitting in trees all day eating leaves. Although these would probably try to avoid eating themselves. Now what about the fire type? Well, so far we've had one reptile, one bird, and four mammals. This is pretty mammal heavy, so I think they'll try to stray away from that class. I also don't think a bird is likely, since we've already had several prevalent fire type birds. So because of all that, I think it's likely that the fire starter will be either a reptile or an amphibian. These dinosaur ones by Mossabear are really awesome and kind of like cooler versions of my fire starter Raptorch, and these Ankylosaurus Komodo dragon ones by Maniacal Mew are really cool as well. I also found these Armadillo ones by El Darkcourt that I think are really awesome. And yes, armadillos are technically mammals, but these ones are substantially less furry than many fire starters of the past, and so therefore I think it'd be nice to have something like this as a bit of a different twist. And finally, water type. Every water type starter so far has been either reptilian or amphibian, except for one bird and one mammal. 
Now notice something interesting here. No fish. Now this does make a good amount of sense since there's boatloads of other fish Pokemon, pun intended, and have you noticed how all the water type starters have the ability to walk on land? Well, this is pretty logical since at the start of the game you're supposed to be walking around on land with your starter. So this logic kind of prevents a fish from being a water starter, right? <laughs> Wrong! PlayGameD designed this really awesome concept for a land shark water starter. And while the guard chump line is kind of like land sharks, this is much more of an aquatic design that I think looks really great. I'm not sure how likely this would be, but I think it's excellent and wanted to show it regardless. As far as likely ones, due to there only being one mammal type starter and there being several water type birds throughout the Pokemon world, I think it's likely we'll get an aquatic mammal as a starter, such as a manatee that can hopefully get around on land, a dolphin which could also hopefully get around on land, or a platypus. But for real though, look at this platypus starter by Greg Andrade. He's so cute! And then BAM! Welcome, Challenger! Then BAM again! Welcome to the WWE Super Slam! Sorry. I'll calm down. But for real though, if there was a platypus starter that looked as cool as these ones, I would pick it in a heartbeat. And I think it's pretty likely that we're gonna get one. So there we have it. Those are some of my predictions and speculations about what the stars will be like for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm super excited to see what the real ones will be like, and I hope you are too. What did you think of this video? Do you agree with my predictions? What are some other kinds of stars that you want to see? Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe for more fun Pokemon content of all kinds. I'm also still running a giveaway with Gizmo Slip from our Pikachu drop test video, giving away the Pikachu plushies that we used. So if you haven't entered that already, you should definitely do so. The link is down in the description below. And of course, as always, all the links and credits for all the art I used in this video is also down in the description below. So definitely go check that out. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, book of hands. Gotta catch them all!